What RAM speed should you buy? Here's how it works. The speed is this number right here, 6,000, 7,200, 7,600 mega transfers per second. It used to be megahertz, but they changed it. And this number is the latency. You find it under cast latency or the CL number. As you can guess, we're gamers, we want low latency. Yeah, baby. The latency and the speed go together. There's a formula to calculate the latency in nanoseconds, but no one gives a fuck. Here's what you do instead. 6,000 CL30, you do 6,000 divided by 30 gives you 200. 6,000 CL32 divide gives you 187. 7.5 7200 CL36 gives you 200 and the higher number means less latency for that speed so it's better these two have the same latency because of the math we just did and this one is faster because it has higher speed but not always better if you have a Ryzen 3D CPU the only thing that matters is the latency the speed does not because it has the 3D V cache it's handling everything it doesn't care how fast the RAM is many people have tested this but especially for Ryzen it really doesn't seem worth it to get anything over 6000 CL30 and of of course, before you buy RAM, you go to your motherboard's official website on the support page and you check the QVL list, the compatibility list. Make sure it's compatible. This is especially important for DDR5. Oh, and by the way, you don't need 64 gigabytes of RAM for gaming. You can gaslight yourself if you want. You don't need it. Yeah.